And right now it's time for that time when we have our special guest. Tonight's special guest is Roger Skinner, guitarist. From the Kyle Isles to the Come On backing band, it's been a great musical journey. Roger is here tonight to tell us all about the annual 60s Muso Bash on Sunday the 27th of February. Roger Skinner, welcome to The Beat Goes On. Pleased to meet you, Gerard, after all these years. Yes. Yeah, well, thank you for being our first our okay. first guest for uh, 2011 on The Beat Goes On. And yes. what better guest to have than a lead guitarist, a wonderful <laughs> lead guitarist. And you've been playing uh, in Auckland and throughout New Zealand. Yes. For quite some time now, haven't you? Yes, indeed, yes. I've yeah. A few years there. You're a classic 60s musician, aren't you? Indeed, yes. And we grew up through all the 60s yeah. and right through to the present day. Still playing and still singing. Yeah. Still enjoy it. It's just my lifestyle and uh, it'll go on until the last guitar string breaks. <laughs> what drew you to music? I mean, you're a wonderful guitarist. Well, you're a yeah. great guitarist. Oh, thank so you very much. How did, it, how did it all start? Um, it primary school I was playing the ukulele because we all used to learn recorders and ukuleles in those days yeah. and I played the ukulele and then when I went to high school I uh, pinched the music teacher's guitar and <laughs> transposed the, the ukulele chords yeah. onto the guitar and one day he caught me with his guitar and he said well if you're going to learn to play then I might as well show you a few more chords so he showed me a few more chords and we went and I formed a band at the high school, it was Selwyn College, mm. and uh, went from there and uh, we, uh, we were called the Cool Cats. <laughs> the cool Cats. <laughs> and we were a skipple group, yeah. you may recall the skipple yeah, era. But you ended up with uh, the Kyle Isles. Indeed. I mean, they were such a huge group, the Kyle Isles. Yes, indeed. So how yes. did you get the job with the Kyle Isles? Oh, I think I was just rung up by Brian Henderson one yeah. day and said, uh, we're looking for a guitarist and formed the band with the Kyles. And I uh, said, yep, I'm in. Let's go. And uh, we took it from there. It was at the Oriental Ballroom for two years. Mm. Then went from there to the Come On Show. That was great. Ooh. Peter Sinclair. You must and, have been uh, the coolest kid in town working on Come On. Oh, we did have our moments, yes. <laughs> enjoyed it. <laughs> Come yes. On was great, wasn't it? it? Was, uh, yeah, what was so good about it? It was fr fr frantic, uh, fast, fast paced. paced yes, uh, indeed. It was just half an hour of just Mayhem. pure pop music. It yeah. was called pop music, not yeah. mainly. Peter Sinclair telling everybody who was going to be on yeah. and, and dancing and singing. It was great. And we were playing in the background. We were the backing band. Music yeah. on your television station. But you're back on, come on, so lose your blues and get from the go-go for the next 30 minutes at the happening scene on your TV screen, and here's what we mean. Bob now, you had to record the songs every week, and you yes. used mascot recordings to you. Indeed, yes, that's right, we did too. So yeah. you had to trace in there every week and learn all the songs for the show? That's that right, week. yeah. On the Monday, I think it was, oh no, even on the Sunday, I think we started rehearsals, and uh, we'd go through the rehearsals with the band, and we'd have all the charts, and then we had to learn to read music for a start. That was amazing, and... Uh, we did the recording on the Monday. We the, did the rehearsals on the Sunday, recorded on the Monday. That must have been a busy week because all the songs that you had to learn. Yes, wow. yes. Great tanks. You must have loved them. Oh, it was hectic and it was good. But at the same time, I, was still, I had to earn another living mm. by playing in the band on a Saturday night somewhere. There's very little left, very yes. little left. Yes. This is um, Pete Sinclair and Come On, mm -hmm. and there is Roger Skinner. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, if people are watching it now, mm -hmm. there's an artist singing now. Yes. Yeah. And right next to her on her right, on the right. Roger Skinner. Yeah, Let's have a look at Roger Skinner in action on Come On. On her first appearance, she sang Take the Bitter with a Sweet, and she really knocked us out. We'd very much like you to meet her again. It's Bronwyn Neal. I bet you can't remember that particular day. Oh, not really, no. Now, you're here today, Roger. Uh, yes. We better just uh, um, yep. mention why Roger is here today. Yeah. Every year you run a, mu a Muso's Bash. Yes, it's called the 60s Muso's, Muso's Bash. Bash. 
raising funds this time for Variety, the children's charity. And it's on Sunday, the 27th of February, starting at 1 p.m. at the Glenfield Tavern. Which isn't far away, is it? No, it's, so it's on the 27th? 27th. On a Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, wow. 1 p.m. So we're inviting all old musicians to come along. They can bring their guitars or something. Mm -hmm. There'll be a full set of drums and PA set up and amplifiers, just bring the guitar. And it's open stage. Open stage and just come wow. along and $5 entry to anyone to come in. And now, why did you come up with this idea? As you say, it's its, its fourth year, isn't it? So yes, what it was running before I started. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh yes, uh, uh, Keith McIntyre was the originator of it. And I think he might have started about four or five years before that, going every year. And he just gave up, he just couldn't take it, do it anymore. Yeah. And I said, well, I must keep it going. And I, I took it over and carried on from then. And, and so it starts at one o'clock in the afternoon, it goes yes. through to what time? Oh, <laughs> it could be six or seven <laughs> o'clock at night, yeah. you know. But well, the, the beauty of the place too, of course, I may say, is that there's plenty of room for parking, all the hot rods yeah. and, you know, and motorbikes and that, so it's great. Great now the thing is there's not that many great functions like this for us baby boomers, is no, there? Not, I not mean really. they're few and far between. So Indeed. all baby boomers out there, support the Variety uh, Charity Yes. and um, and come along on Sunday the 27th. 27th, yeah, great. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. What is it about the 60s music? Is it, is it, is happy, it, the, it was bright, it was it, I think there's the key to it. Mm. Have they lost music. the happiness? Oh, not necessarily lost the happiness. Mm. There's some really great songs around. Yeah. But it doesn't have the same sort of happiness, uh, quick and easy, happy uh, sound, dancing type sounds. Now, what was it about uh, that that guitar? You've got you brought one oh, in today. Let's uh, let's yes. have a uh, let's talk about uh, guitar boogie, wasn't it? That riff. Oh, that would have been. Would yes. that be the, the first riff that, that started it all? It's the basis of so many songs, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Then of course the shadows. I mean, yes. they made a they had a huge impact. Indeed, didn't they? indeed, yeah. That's just, you know, with the, especially with the patchy, of course. Yeah. Then of course Chuck Berry. He came Chuck along. Berry, now, oh, what was he just? So cool. The moment he started playing, everybody yeah. wanted to dance. A lot of his songs started yeah. with the same riff. You know, yeah. and, it, and it had everybody on the floor in an instant. <laughs> That's what's something like that. Wonderful. And it made you want to dance, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Rock and roll. True. Indeed, yes. <laughs> so you've been doing it for a good while now, haven't you, Roger? Um, I've been one or two years. <laughs> one or two years. And uh, what are you doing today? What, what's happening in your life today? Uh, well, I'm actually running two bands. Two bands. I've got the band called The Motivation, which is a four-piece band. And there we do dance and rock and roll and everything. Yeah. And then I've got a three-piece band, which is called Roger and the Ramjets. And we just do the, like, the smaller gigs and that and uh, rock and roll as well. Um, and then I also do my solo work, which is just what you see here, sitting and playing with guitar and singing. Yeah. And uh, do like clubs and bars and things like this. And uh, it's, so it keeps me quite busy. But number one, wonderful to be part of history, wasn't it? Uh, for those who may have mm. just tuned in, we could remind them once again, mm. you were with the Kyle Isles yes. and um, you were a part of um, Come on, those okay. wonderful years with yeah. Come On. I mean, that was, you were making history, oh, weren't you? Absolutely. Yeah. So what's happened to the Kyle Isles? There was oh, uh, well, Freddie Kyle and there was, of course, Herma well, Kyle. Freddie, Freddie yeah. Kyle had his own band called the Cavaliers, mm -hmm. and they were at the Orange Ballroom on a Saturday night, whereas Herma Kyle and the Kyle Isles, mm -hmm. which was, uh, I was in, was at the Oriental Ballroom yeah. in Simon Street. And there's Herma, and there was his sister, Liza. Yeah. And they were huge, weren't they? Oh, they were big in the country. They put out quite a few records too, yeah. they did, yes. And we did a, an LP. What was Herma like? Oh, he was a nice guy. Mm. Yeah, very laid back, easy going, but a very good singer. And quite a good guitarist too. And uh, he, very good singer. Nice, rich sound in his voice. And he used to do things like uh, the girl watch the girls, what was it? Yeah. Boys watch the girls go by. It was his favourite one. Yeah. 
Would you like those days back, uh, Roger? Oh, no, it's, they were good days, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we've got to move on. <laughs> You've you got to move on. Yeah. Look, we could, um, we're both from the same era and we could sit here and chat all yes, night, couldn't we? Yes. And, uh, but we're, we're pressed for time. But yes. uh, I want to get in once again that you're running a Musos Bash. Yes. And that's the reason you're here today on The that's, Beat Goes On to tell us correct. about the Musos Bash. I'm going to be there. Yes. It's going to be a great day. Uh, it's in the Glenfield Tavern. Glenfield Tavern. Yeah. And it's on Sunday, the 27th of February. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're starting at one o'clock. And we'll go right through till the last guitar string breaks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole theme is it's a museum. Raise funds uh, yes, for charity. charity yeah. Which is the variety, the children's charity. And uh, we'll invite all old musicians. Not old, old musicians, <laughs> old uh, musos and that. Around. Are we considered old? Yes. <laughs> 60s musos yeah, and yeah. that. And they can come along and just get up on stage. So it's open stage? Open stage, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. $5 entry and the money goes towards the charity. Yeah. The variety. Excellent. Well, Roger, mm. thank you for coming in today and telling us My about pleasure. it. So it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you once again. Thank you.